Many moons have passed since I left the town of Tristram behind me. Since then I've tried to forget the terrors I beheld beneath the cold earth and the twisted nightmares that have haunted my every waking moment. There's something dark within me now. I can feel it. Ice blast of the past, a bitter killer's mastery class, an orb of ice, a centrifuge recast at the fast, a frozen mass. They shatter into glasses of ash, a chill and blizzard wizards cast, and now I'm gone in a flash. And we don't stop, a nova crock, a weapon swap, a unique drop, we're tearing through this chaos, listen to our master rap to fight the lasso pop, the moment stopped, he's finally free. Not even death can save me from me. Holy bolt, holy shield, holy freeze. I might smite the Lord of Terror unto his knees. I'll set free the beast within just to watch him bleed. Pure concentration, no salvation, just to restore peace and bring order to the world. The desecration from my sword, he start a war. I'll massacre the core foundation of the law. This ain't no soul in search of answers, just a hero with a T. And by the time I finish slaying, there won't be Diablo 3. Lord of Destruction, Lord of Corruption, Lord of the Hate and Pain. I instigate a force so great. Rate the syndicate, I decimate, eradicate my foes and turretonic state. They suffocate, choke on my name. Lord of seduction, Lord of disruption, Lord of the lies. Blah hides inside, he's terrified. Mass genocide, my master rhymes identify the stale while they listen as I amplify. Strict specify it's time to die. Bring it back to the master of the track. Travel east to find the beast so I can slay him with my rap. Don't need flails or a sword. Tie my hand behind my back. Like a shop up, I'ma kill him with my lyrical attack. Time to let out my back. I don't find the time to grind a level 9 to 9 Support the party risen wizard and that summon god I stand to take the flank of dolls but when I try to fight My damage lacks a crap of fight I can't attack I spent my life mastering axes now I'm damned to cat What cries of anguish they don't care they want the man or back Dead dreams of prestige on a valor now I stand and rap I go slow a mental block from years ago Still trapped inside my mind the frigid highlands all I know Yet as I hit my blows my vengeance tried to start to grow Look out Diablo this barbarian Bob, do I owe you an email? Also, uh, should we play offline? Is online just fully borked right now? Or how, how bad? Yeah, it has an offline mode. Need to select full offline when you launch from Steam. Okay. Online looks like after character selection cannot connect. Oof. So, so far there's been like two hours 
how uh how are we thinking on it Like, obviously, I mean, I, I assume servers are just, like, way more overloaded than they were expecting, and it's a whole thing. You know, the, the usual. I'm sure Lama RPG will have the same problem. When a hundred people try and log in at the same time, it'll blow up my servers, you know. Champions of Norath. I don't know if I did. Uh, ladder tomorrow. That's right, baby. A hundred thousand people are trying and they didn't expect that amount. 150k we're on? Yeah. One million copies sold. <whistles> wow. Well, good for them. I mean, that's fine. We'll play uh we'll play the offline and see how the stuff goes. <laughs> Baby's having a tough time. Oh my god. Two dollars from G's I baby forty three. Error thirty seven lives on in many different forms. Oh, thank you, Jeezy baby. Thank you, Ron son. All right, play offline or do I? Is this not even it? Do I have to do something? You said from Steam launch it as full offline. Launch from Steam. I played like a tiny bit early access, but it was a bit ago. All right, last epoch. Where is launch full offline? Update the properties. Right click the game. Uh, properties, updates, launch options, line drop to me, can select, play full offline, perfect, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Might have to uh, adjust the, ignore the screen for a second. Okay. Play offline. All right. Why is it so borked here? Properties, last epoch. That's really struggling. You don't like that capture method, I guess. Let's try this one. Okay, settings, graphics, full screen. Okay. All right, mage, sorcerer, spellblade, rune master. Oh, that's all under one character. I was like, what? I wish it said the class when you highlighted. Like, okay, that's a rogue. Alright. Let's be a sorcerer.
Normal, hard care, solo self found. You find on other characters. Oh. Well, if I'm offline, I'd like to be able to share them across. Classic D2 choice. In the beginning, there was darkness. Okay. And that's enough lore for me. Alright, there was darkness in the beginning. These roads are not kind to my bones. But I must hurry. Wellrin is still a few days away. Wait, how do I how do I use this spell? Oh, Q. Oh my god. I saw the one right there and I thought it was one. I, I, know, I didn't... The Q, like, was hidden to me. I saw that one and I was like, wait a second. Traveler, as he wishes to destroy us and steal a terrorist legacy. Nice. It's nice to see them have creatures that do like tons of damage early. And make you dodge a little bit and stuff. Um, okay. okay, let's adjust. Potion, town portal, sure, dungeon, whatever that is, inventory, character sheet, skills menu, portal should be P. Hi, yeah, yeah. Um, make it five. Inventory, character, skills, menu, T for tree, map, passive grid, crafting menu, is there interface, auto overlay, open quest log, social, Q for quest, Game guide, MTX. Okay. My big question is, why do I gain life so quickly? Game is in front of chat's background? What do you mean in front of chat's background? Oh, there is no chat background. Base region is insanely high, good lord. <laughs> Do that unadorned. Because it's a modern RPG, I suppose.
Look at this mana regen too. Oh my goodness. Poison dwarf, thank you. You gain a passive point, click this button to spend it to enhance your character. Passive. Gain passive points by leveling up, completing quests, advancing your passive trees while unlock new skills and passives. Initially, you may only place points in your base tree class. You have the opportunity to choose master class during your adventure. That's a load in the right section. Okay. Looks very Titan Quest Grim Dawny right there. Um, Arcanist. Intelligence. Fire resist. Lightning resist. Increase fire damage, increase cold damage, health and mana. Well, you know we're going for damage. When you arrived, it was money. Well, like, thanks. Are you? My name's Grail. Who's come? Let me watch you fight. All right. <laughs> smoke. I wish the smoke would make you like lose health or something while you were in it. Okay, we have cooldowns on spells. As you can see with cold snap there. It is on steam. You take a character online mode later. I would. I think I'd have to make one online. That'd be my assumption. So much destruction, and for what? Alright. Skill specialization. Visit the skill panel to pick a skill specialization. This will allow you to empower Highness something, Lama. something. Happy last epoch day. Can I ask if you have previous experience with the game? I played it one time before. Um a little bit. Just fire cold and lightning. I mean, the fireball seems pretty nice here. Alright, this is where you do this thing, and then... You do that to, to boost it up. This is actually... The skills and specializations was a, was a cool... I forgot a little bit about it, but... Maybe I should be a Nova source. Um, okay. Increase cold lightning fire damage. So yeah, I think I should go Nova then. Let me see. I want to take this out. How do I take it out? How do I replace it? Respec. Mm, each one reduces skills level by one. If you despecialize, you remove all skill points and experience in the skill as you specialize in another skill in its place. Despecialize. Alright. More elemental damage, slightly larger to area. More trips and more critical strike chance. Ice Nova. I mean, I feel like I want to enable the different Novas. Maybe I should have done the other Nova one. Where'd you learn to fight? Sure. 
Perfect, Kristoff. Am I gonna be playing D2R tomorrow? Yes. Quick, it town. I cannot do that. Well done. We're almost there. I'll see you ahead. That's the same thing, right? But this one has forging potential. Okay. The keepers of they're not guarding the ruins. They're traveling between They better do a band wave? Yeah, we'll see. We shall see. The UI design is nice. Yeah, the Sounds UI is not like bad. A group, even it's now. Speaking of, I must head there now. Feel free to look around. I'll see you shortly. It looks like PoE. I mean, I'd say PoE definitely looks nicer. I don't love this UI on a first glance. That's a little too busy, but. How do I sell? Equip, shift, and right click. It's nice that they show it. Okay. Right. Right. Oh, nice. We do have an overlaid map. Going well. How are you? Grail was just telling what they're both us our chances, but even could you, they should do this. And our alliance is secure. Grail was just what, yeah, both our both you could do this. And our alliance is secure. Sounds like I got some work to do. Alright. More lore. Overlay. Huh. Already got a legendary. All right, 100% flash space damage converted to cold poison. Chance from all sources converted to frostbite for acid flask. Chance to apply frostbite on cold hit. Increased area for cold area skills. Increased cold damage and freeze rate multiplier. I don't know. Was that just lucky, or is this game going to be flooding me with legendaries like Diablo 4? Very lucky? Okay. I'm like, I don't like, I don't like seeing legendaries literally in the first, in the blood more, you know? Mana strike. A melee skill that hits all enemies in the area in front of returning mana if it hits an enemy. Okay, so I guess we change this. If we truly just have streamer luck going, that's fine. Yeah, I'll be on source tomorrow for letter. Can you have more than six skills at a time? Does not look like it, does it? Great. 
Okay, plus three spell damage, minus three spell mana cost. I like that. Okay, equip item is just right click. Um, so this is the same thing, but this one's a little better. Wait, which one? It, the one I have is better. Oh, this one has damage over time, health regen. Okay. Graphics are bland. I don't know. I don't. I don't, I don't hate them. What I like about the, the graphics thus far is the, kind of like the creatures and the colors. I think it's got, you know, it's fine. I think they're not, you know, they're a little bit, yes, you could, you could say this is a little bit of like mobile game nowadays, with some of it, but I don't hate it. D4 smokes last epoch. I'm not sure D4 smokes anything. This is maximum zoom out. Smoke some. Yeah, exactly. Alright, level 6. Let's just keep bumping our Nova. This is where we can travel back and forward in time, right? Where are my graphic settings set to? Whatever the default is. Should be pretty high though, I mean. Is it medium is default? Okay, we can we can increase it. Very high. Honestly, I can't even tell the difference. When did I try getting into this game? Just now. We played like a tiny bit when it was early access just to check it out. Probably gotta zoom in to tell the difference. Maybe. Is Last Epoch now the greatest RPG of all time? That's what everybody said it would be. You got kicked? Ah, oh, you should try getting on streamer servers. be the smart thing to do once I did between my engineers finest munitions and the strength of this way you're here to protect the soul the drink take carefully Ooh, glacier
All oh, right, Glacier has a high mana cost. That's right. Safe. That should hold them. That's a good order. Well, tell you what. Let's get out of here first, and then I'll explain more. Sounds good to me. These beast dogs are hardly worth it if you don't know why Orion is after us. How's it feel? I mean, we still gotta play. We gotta play more before I can give a like more review again on how it feels. Jeez, 62 mana cost for Glacier. More than I got. Am I gonna have to start putting stuff into mana? Okay, let's see. I've got two points to spend here. So the question is, uh, deals more damage, but Elemental Nova costs more mana. Ice Nova has higher chance to freeze. Minus three per point. Or do I just enable Fire Nova and Lightning Nova? You know? Let's do it. Let's enable it. So, you guys have maybe been playing. What is your opinions thus far? Okay. So, you go here. Um, no, no, no. Two intelligence. health on kill eight physical okay we'll do that one actually increased melee speed oh. seems good enough you've been playing for two years yes. good game too much loot birdius and fishy taco and bode thank you guys also poison dwarf Thank you very much. Loot filter very customizable, that's good. Is this like PUE multiplayer or D4 multiplayer? Um I felt like it had more of a Path of Exile feel for when I was like early access. Um, yeah. I'm sure you have questions, but let me first check and make sure the epoch safe. Okay. Whenever you drop below seven health, you gain a burst of ward based on your max health. This effect has. Okay. And every three seconds, your next element spell deals increased damage and has a chance to slow enemies. Or you can just keep boosting the damage up. Let's put.
put one here, though. Good. You got 65 hours in early access, but forgot most of it. Oh, rip. Good luck TPing back to town. Is it, uh, troublesome? It terrors please. Prayers be with you. Hmm. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Cell item is shipped. Move speed. Wonder if dodge rating or physical res is better. Whatever. Not gonna matter. We'll plus six mana. Is this gonna... this is not suitable. Ah, two-handed. Goodbye. Okay. Right. Everything okay? Ah, okay. For the shards, just do that. Stay safe. Stay alive, and bring both us back. Wait, wait. I thought it was already at twenty percent. Oh, I can't put another point there. Okay. Just keep buffing up our damage. Since we're doing all three damage with Nova, okay? makes sense. What what we think? Are you, you stay safe. Stay alive. And bring all this back. I'm not sure there's any magic find in this game. Not that I've seen thus far. Hello, Machiavelli. Money, money, money. More monster equals gooder. Okay. So it does go to 40. The mana region is off the chain to start. another spell I can put in there. Grants a burst of 400 ward, then for 3 seconds, hit steal 30% less damage, and you cause retaliatory flames. Um, there's the mana strike. I mean, I'm really only using elemental nova. I guess we can put glacier there. Maybe we can lower the mana cost. Mana cost minus 80%, but the largest one is disabled, that's right. 
Ah, okay. Oh, but it's plus 40% per point on that one. Hmm. Sure, I guess we'll go over this way. Wait, where's the sorcerer passive tree? Like, why, why don't I have a static orb? I only need five points there, don't I? Even though I've spent... Oh, you have to be 15 first. Let's go check the build guide. The map's pretty nice. It's hard to pick up items sometimes. Going runic master? I don't know. I guess I should go back to camp. I'm just making a Nova Nova sorceress right now, that's it. Alright, let's see. Increase cast speed, health, regen, and armor. This has 10 mana though, so that's nice. That's nice. Plus one to elemental nova. 24 to health. Physical damage, increased fire, mana regen. Last team you. Thanks, Jeez the baby. Terra's blessing. Prayers be with you. How many stash types you can have? People said like two, maybe. Inventory art reminds you of Dungeon Siege. Maybe a tiny bit.
probably don't need to pick up all these. Staff tabs. Sounds like a decent number. Teleport! Let's go, baby! My right click is ah, interesting. I wish there were more keys. Like, w only five abilities is super jank. I'm not gonna lie. Um... I mean, I like that there's, you know, different ways to build them, but sheesh, let me have, like, a couple more abilities here, you know? Just buff that up fully. I can still fit when I present this to Ryan. This power, he will find. I cannot do that. You're here for the epoch. Yep. Reaching me was impressive. Thank you. But it's mine. Call member wing. Oh, that's the problem. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, this is the official release. Now get me out of here. Oh, I hope that if more than which, speaking of, let's head back to camp. I think you can swap whatever you want onto left click. This is offline. Wait, I thought I sold things right though. On this side? Okay, let's see. Increased mana region. That seems nice. Okay. Sell, sell. Increased damage over time. Not a big deal. Melee cold damage. Void res. Necrotic. Increased elemental, increased spell damage, but transfer materials. Okay, seems right. good enough. He's back, and it's all thanks to you. He's been quiet. He's back. He's been quiet since he. You're back. No, no, no. Do you know that I am uh -huh. I'm so sorry. sorry to you too. I'm sorry to you too. This is what's best for us all. All right. Uh... Okay. The shard seems to have taken me somewhere. Yes. Who says the onion is sitting on the table? Oh, man. So the Nova, I may want to specialize, actually. I thought it was going to be, like, every kind at once, but it seems like it rotates and randomly picks one of them. And I'm not sure I like that as much. I may want it to just be Freeze. Watch over you, gods. Okay, I do find that paradox. Thanks for asking. Yes. Okay, so let's just increase there. Sure, disintegrate. Okay, global damage over time. Costs less mana and deals more damage. Oh, well, that's nice. I'm going to go one of those. Okay. Gods be with you. I 
Yeah, there's definitely some cool stuff with the, uh... Skill tree stuff. I cannot do that. There... There... Like, it's just an interesting... Oh. Interesting, uh, thing overall, you know? Can you pin the question instead? Is this uh, offline? Should, we should pin it, shouldn't we? Oh, that's what I wanted to do. So if I want to get rid of the non-cold pieces of this, if I respec, we'll remove all skill points and experience from the skill and allow you to specialize in another skill. Remove we'll choose and to remove to reduce the skills level by one. If above your minimum skill level, level up the skills normally spend these points again. So like, I want to probably get out of this and this, I think, and just go hard into cold. So that'll take, oh wait, I'm gonna have to re-level the entire skill. Is there a way to not? Oh, just have to respect those, just the two points. Okay. Okay. I got it. What brings you here? Terra's grace be with you. Get out of there. Alright. Uh, when you're hitting with lightning skill. For teleport. That's nice. And nearby enemies get ignited. So this is... There's nothing for cold here. That's annoying. This is just for snap freeze. But this does seem nice because increase for that. We like teleport being a little bit faster. I will not do that. Is the game pause while you're in menus? Yes and no. It like pauses on the escape, but after that, no. And I don't think it pauses in like inventory or anything like that. I cannot do that. So should I buy this and delete Diablo 2? I mean, that's like up to you, my man. I can't we're, we're like an hour in, so you know. There's still plenty. It takes more than an hour to figure out a game.
I cannot do that. I don't think I've ever de deleted Diablo 2. Right, crazy? Pretty slow start. I don't know, we're level 12 here after an hour? That seems fine to me. I cannot do that. did help them. Ah, I gotta go to the council chambers. I cannot do that. I cannot do that. I feel like you got your minus worth with Ellie. How much was it again? 20? 25? Thirty-five. Enough, what up, Kiwi? You enjoying it? That's good. Another legendary. Not for us. Keep them off. Me. Only a little longer. All right. Perfect, thank you. Follow me. So this is what the elders. You now El I it was we every the gods have long left this world. Hmm. But their memory will give you I see. comfort. Okay. Um Traveler. Boosting health and mana, boosting intelligence and res. We'll go res. And some int. And... This is Ice Vortex. Chances, chances, freezing rate. I just want more damage, I don't want that one. Let's go here. Seems good. I want those idols. Which idols?
Got some actual work to do. Boo. I cannot do that. Is there no windowed full screen? Borderless window, I guess. I cannot do that. Online working? Not that I know. As quickly as I came here, it is now time to go. Still not working yet? Dang. I mean, the nice thing is, when you make a game have a full offline mode, though, it doesn't matter as much if online isn't working, you know? Like, oh, okay. Online isn't working, but I still took the day off. I can still play the game. That's what makes all these online only games suck so much more. It's like, oh, I want to play, you know, Diablo 3 or whatever, and then you get on and you take off the day and you can't play, and it's like, well... Great. So, I'm, I'm, all, I'm all here for games with full offline mode. Games without it. Trash. Okay. Wait, where's the... Uh... Okay. It's a different town. Got it. Yes. Shop. Idols will grant your character bonuses when equipped in the dedicated idol container. You may unlock additional idol container space by completing main story and side quest. Uh, okay, so sell, 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 sell. Three rolls of values of all affixes on an item within their tiers. That's nice. Um, 11 mana, mana regen, increase dot, but I lose some mana regen. It's a tough one. Increase cold damage. Alright, well that's not a tough one. We'll just do that. Increase spell damage. Okay. Follow your feet. Sounds good. Optimal weapon for vengeance paladin. Oh jeez. Yeah, that's for the crafting, the forging potential. Am I now considered a variety streamer? Doubtful. These dudes are, uh, these are some, some men right here. I thought there's anything wrong with women. I don't even know if there's a specific, like, this is the thing for vengeance. I mean, honestly, grief is always good I everywhere, but do that. you do want... Actually, grief wouldn't be that great, because you get all the conversion, and so that actually wouldn't really change much. 
Wait, I'm in Penny and Study, right? Yeah, so grief is actually not. Oh, there's idols on the ground. Stop him. Got it. Poison hit, increased crit strike chance. Does crit strike work with Panium my stuff? Still by, please stop. You. Gods be with you. Stay safe. Yes. All right, sure. And sell, sell, sell. Ritual stone of freezing. Idols is like charms, it looks like. Follow your feet. Yeah. It is a dedicated charm bag. Um Cast a fire orb that spews burning shrapnel in all directions. So it's frozen orb, but of fire? It's kind of dope. Okay, looks like crit strike does work there. Ward retention. Freeze rate multiplier. Okay, increase your chance to freeze and converts lightning blast and volcanic orb to cold spells, changing their base damage type to cold and giving them a chance to freeze. I cannot do that. Okay, so we can make it a real frozen orb. Oh, yeah. Totally frozen orb. I cannot do that. It's like a slower, slower version of it. I cannot do that. Fools. Fools. How much mana cost? 67? That is a bit high. Wee bit high. But it's cool. Other server. There's big issues online, so online is not really feasible at the moment. Supposedly. I cannot do that. Definitely too much loot drops. I know they have loot filters, but it's too much loot already. <laughs> In our ruined era, like Taylor Swift dating Travis Kelsey. I 
I cannot do that. Some people were trying to review bomb the game on Steam for server issues. I think they turned off reviews for now. You can turn reviews off on your game? What? What do you mean, turned off? So if people start review bombing Lama RPG, I can just turn it off? Or does Steam disable it? Because Steam is like, oh, we think people are review bombing. Ah. I cannot do that. Interesting. All right. Um, sure, we'll make it a cold orb. And... Keep doing that. Okay, so that actually does make more sense with that. This is more chill and freeze chance. Uh, damage. Deals more damage. I only cast a freeze and cascade a cascade freeze and there's a change between enemies. Oh, that sounds nice. Wait, why can't I get it? I have one point to spend. Oh, I need two points. Three points. Jeez. <laughs> idle, 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 idle. Did I just find like 20 charms? Good lord. Increase cold damage. Sure. Sure. Well. Yeah, loot's a little too good. So you just go back. What was the name of that game? Uh, the Souls-like game. It starts with an F, I think, where you can travel between the the times. Kind of, well, not between times, but between the Lords of Fallen, thank you. That's what we're trying to figure out. All right, let's see. Minions have that 79 health, though. I mean, I think 79 health just means we have to. It's a lot of health. It's not like an amazing armor, but for us, but it's uh, it's something. Just got in online. Noise. Where are you going? God. I cannot do that. 
I am not a man of many pockets. buying it because online servers yeah because they're unable to play online it does have a fully offline mode though which I think is a nice uh, compromising piece in a way Softcore for first play here. I feel like hardcore in a first play is always a bit silly. Another Diablo clone. Hey man, I'm always here for people trying to make new RPGs and make them fun. Nothing against it. Many You're 100% sure I was going to play Cold Source? I do love Cold Source. I'm a, I'm a sucker for it, what can I say? Take me back. I need the mana regen. game feel as much like D4 as it looks it? No. Uh, I'm trying to like take some notes about how I feel. What's the lore of this game? Uh, time travel. Freeze rate multiplayer does not scale. Wait, what? I didn't want to go into cultural change and base damage. Freeze rate of 46. So sh I shouldn't put more points in this, right? I mean, honestly, I could use more mana regen anyways. Each point grants 4% we're going to improve skills that rely on carefully stayed magic. Okay, so that doesn't increase mana regen.
Wait, 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 what's the P? Okay. I want mana regen, man. I guess just increase mana for now. We'll just bump our mana up. That should be good enough. Mana strikes a lot of mana early on. Yeah, but then I have to like waste a skill using mana strikes. I don't have enough skill slots to, to have mana strike. I That's the problem. That. gloves or boots. Yeah. Not a bad idea. Goodbye. This one open now? Ah, okay. I cannot do that. Etera's grace be with you. Take care of yourself. Sounds good. Is he playing a cater class? What's a cater class? I am just playing a uh, ice mage. Oh, caster, yeah. That. I was like, am I a cater? Somebody? A mastery I pick? No clue, I haven't got to masteries yet. Yes. Okay, let's see. So increase cast speed and physical damage. Increase spell damage, chance for ignite. I like that. 28% reduced health cost of spells. Void resistance. Increased fire damage. Void resistance, void resistance. Physical. Four to mana. Um. Seven to mana. One intelligence. Yeah. All right, 27% freeze rate multiplier, cold res, physical damage, block effectiveness. All right, that's good enough, yeah. And I probably don't care about many of these. Poison damage, poison on hit. Stun chance, physical res, increase crit strike. These three we can keep. Follow your feet. 
Greetings. Greetings. All right, respecialize mastery point alley. Oh, okay, this is where you can do that. Do not dwell on regret. Let's see, where's my crafter might people? Be your best bet. Hey, don't go getting yourself killed. What? So this is go on then. Bah. Where is my crafting? Uh, I rebound F, so let me... Crafting menu... L. No. Crafting menu... Y. What is Y right now? Open factions. Crafting menu. U is something as well. Open MTX shop. Okay, I don't care about that one. Alright, crafting menu it is. U. Select a piece of gear. Add a modified or item. I mean, these already have intelligence, mana, fire res, and that. And I don't. So I could try and up the mana. Or void resist. Or I mean intelligence or void resist. Okay. Game really shines in the crafting system. Yeah, that's a... Uh, you know, a lot of people have said they, they really like crafting. You gotta take your item out of the forge? Oh, snap! Oh, man. What has better crafting, Last Epoch or Lama RPG? Mm, Lama RPG for sure. Oh wait, it's just, that's right, I always have it with me. Okay. It's like a cube. Lama RPG's crafting system is amazing, so I've heard. Create new filter. Mr. Llama SC Mage. Confirm. Add rule. Hide. Oh. Class requirement. Wait, if I just say show mage, then it will only show mage specific items? It won't hide anything else. Oh, I can do multi-select. Okay. Um... Oh, 
Okay, like, I want it to be max level below character level. So if I say, like, 10, is that it will hide everything 10 levels below my character level? Okay. I probably don't actually want that for now. Let's hide rarity normal. And that's fine. Item type. Two-handed weapons. Axes, maces, scepters, swords, daggers. Okay. Quivers. Um... We can keep all those, and that's fine. Okay. Update. Add a rule. Show rarity uniques. Exalted and unique. And set. And we'll emphasize Okay, that seems like a good filter start. Great. That's that's really fantastic. Very impressed with uh, how easy it is to create a loop filter there. So why do I see a Gladius and a Spiked Great Club? Let's go look at our filter. Those are the things you want to salvage. I thought that's a part of this don't show item type. That's one rule. One rule per filter? What do you mean? You missed three rule of filter. One, hide all of their classes. You have it set to hide only. Oh, it's hiding only. I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. So this needs to just be class requirement. Add. Got it. And then this one, we remove that. And this will get rid of all of those and that. And this goes here. I mean that is that is the best in-game loot filter I've seen in a game. That is fantastic. Wow. Well done. Really, really well done. Not having to go to lastepoch.com or whatever create a notepad file do that no I cannot do that very very well done steal it for llama RPG hmm a loot filter for llama RPG that's an interesting idea I once believed the shards would be safe where the gods could I mean it's not like crazy needed in the future I was mistaken. I Wait, where do I go? Let me... Do you want me over here? Uh, I thought there was a th thing I needed to go to.
try to... Okay, hold on. Let me... We're going to keep doing this. Um... Um... Add rule. Class requirement. Mage. Show. Emphasize. Where is highlight? Oh, recolor. Confirm. That's so cool. You may find a treasure, my friend. Ooh. Hey there. Want to try your luck? Gambling. Let's go. Increase melee. 100% crit strike chance if you have not dealt a critical strike recently. What is recently? 50% less critical strike chance if you have dealt a critical strike recently. Four seconds. Uh, doesn't say. Tooltip doesn't have it. So this is what the elders. Interesting. Ah. All right. Um. Keep boosting that up. I guess we want to travel to the saving last refuge. Might be consolidated to the game guide. Gotcha. I cannot do that. my tear runes at? Assassin split greatsword and... S okay, so... Why am I seeing this greatsword? Oh, I'm hiding normal. Man, a leech goes later. I cannot do that. First impression? I mean, I'm enjoying myself still. So, you know, there's still plenty, uh... All right, increase crit strike chance. Maybe I should just have that going. Didn't even realize. Stay back. Run.
This is a this is the throwback to Path of Exile fight for sure. Like this. What a waste. Pick up the shark. End of time, let's go. Is the game good or not? I don't know, man. We're only like an hour and a half in. We're working. We're we're figuring out. We're gonna do a whole review of it based on all you the pieces. He might be stay safe. I cannot do that. Plenty to determine. Hmm. How do I get down there? Walk upstairs. Ah, okay. Is this the RPG I'm working on? No. Honestly, this will look a lot better than the RPG I'm working on. I do not have the art team or money to make it. Alright, let's see. Focus a master of the, the arcane wields impressive paradise of the foes, plus 50 mana. Ooh, I like that. Spells deal increased damage equal to their mana cost. And we get meteor. Four ward gain melee hit. No, okay, we're not that one. Summoner who is able to infuse magic. In. Okay. 30% increased elemental damage, 10% increased cast speed with elemental spells. Whenever you directly use an elemental cell, gain one rune of the corresponding element. For channeled skills, you gain one rune per second. Consume all your active runes to cast a unique invocation based on a combination of the runes consumed. The last rune sequence determines the damage type. Yeah, it just makes me feel like Invoker. Huh. Rune Master or Sorcerer? Sheesh. Rune Master seems fun, but I think I think this is the better play. Uh, meteor. Seems I right. see that you are still you. That strength will be necessary. I am still if myself. Our world, our reality. It's to have any hope. Oh, so we can just really make our crit strike up there. Hold ability key to channel. While channeling, you have a 100% increased mana regen and, and gain 10 ward per second. After channeling for exactly one second, you gain a burst of 40 mana and ward. Yo! That seems really nice. You can spam meteor? Not at that mana cost, man. So this is what the elders know. Again, uh, there's just not enough like has been reduced to. Ah oh, man. I cannot do that. Why? Cut by thank you. There is an old passage I'll be with you. I will dispel Stay safe. the okay. keeps it sealed. The temple of a terror is far. Time to go this way. 
Um, Freezing Cascade looks dope. Uh, now I'm like, should I get rid of Elemental Nova here and put something better? Frost Claw. Three projectiles, arc to the target location to create a burst of frost. Add its building applies to the burst 100% effect and has a freeze rate of 40. It's interesting. Hmm. Cast a frost meteor. I am playing offline. Blue border a little distracting. Can be, I can see it. Fools. Fools. The negative mana is a really, I, I like it a lot. Very cool mechanic. Uh-oh. Lower the map opacity? Probably can. Blue, though, it seems like I cannot do that. Fools. Fools. haven't needed to backtrack a lot. Yeah, it's nice not having to backtrack in battles. Okay. Increase cold damage per point. Okay, what is what do I need to kill over here? <laughs> or increase lightning that fire and lightning damage, ice and fire. That seems like ice and fire is the way to go. Could 
Go back to your passives. Oh. Okay, so here's where I want to start spending stuff. This is mana and armor. This is intelligence. Oh, I can spec into these trees too. Even though I'm not those. Oh, up to the chain. Nice. That's cool. Plenty of skills to unlock in all the trees. Oh, yeah, I didn't even think about the fact that these are skills to unlock as well. I cannot do that. had a philosophy. Eh, we gotta play through more, figure it out. Yeah, still got ice wall as a sorcerer, I gotcha. I cannot do that. I guess that's the really point. I cannot do that. Can't change mastery, but you can change the other stuff. Gotcha. I cannot do that. What's max level? 100? Does this game have mob scaling? I hope not. So this is where I am. No mob scaling? Good. Yeah. 
I cannot do that. <laughs> Is more powerful on level up. So crazy. Which aspects is it closer to? to which aspects are it closer to PoE? I mean, I would definitely say so far it feels more closer to PoE. Though, where PoE really gets away is that. There's so many systems in Path of Exile. I don't feel like I'm very confused on this playthrough. Whereas even with a thousand hours in Path of Exile, I'm still plenty confused half the time. I cannot do that. Cannot do that. I cannot do that. Pretty sure my life hit zero there. Yeah, it did. Oh, it's. Wait, 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 wait. Am I just gonna die? Oh. I cannot. Is that it will go to zero if the poison sticks? I am not a man of many pockets. Oh. I am not a man of many pockets. Five percent void resist. Bosses fought so far? Yeah, we fought a boss. I am not a man of many pockets. Uh... Oh, wait, I want those for that. I cannot. Let's just go back to town. <laughs> That's a tough one, Black. Yeah. You feeling lucky? All right, let's see. Um, sell, sell, sell. Wait, so with body robes and this stuff, do I want to break these down? Somebody said you want to break them down. Specifically the plus mage skill affix. So I shouldn't actually pick up like uh, a mage helmet that's white. Right? Or do I care for that for some capacity? Only if it's got mage affixes. Okay, so none of this actually matters then. For for any of that.
14 mana gained on potion use. Excuse me when you use a potion. 29 health, 7 cold res. Okay. okay. You... Okay, so now we can start getting into these things. Increased elemental damage. Cold damage for cold melee attacks. Don't really care about that. But just increased elemental damage is nice. And also elemental resistance. Ooh, that's good. Mana, increased cast speed. Whenever you directly use three skills in a row that costs zero mana, you gain a burst of mana and ward. But I'm not using skills that cost zero mana. I guess that'd be for later. That's just for mana strike. Honestly, I think I just want Elemental Affinity. This also doesn't seem bad, but... Increase spell critical chance per intelligence. I mean, that also doesn't seem bad. We can really just get ourselves critting a ton. I'm gonna go here. So this is what the elders, no, humanity itself. Resistance works in this game. Reduced. Pretty crazy. Okay, so like I don't actually care about these adept robes, <laughs> right? I need to change my filter. Frankie, thank you. One hundred Swedish kroner from Frankie Chris. Been watching your content for a long time. Your non-toxic happy-go-lucky energy always puts a smile on my face. Mwah. Keep up the good work. Okay. And how about rares that are not? Thank you very much. It's very sweet of you. That I don't care about. Okay, confirm. So I only want... Rare, exalted, unique set. Magic? Oh, affixes. Okay. Mana forged, intelligence. Vitality. Spell. Cold damage. Elemental damage. Cold penetration. Critical strike. This area for area.
Okay, class specific mage, mage idols. I guess I don't care about class requirement then, right? I just care about the affix. Um, okay, mage has a lot. But that's fine, we'll keep it. Move up the hide all other class rule. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. I want this one, right? Because I, if I find that affix on an item that's not a mage item, that's okay, right? Or does it have to be on a mage item? Does not have to. Okay. Like this has increased crit strike chance and this has cast speed. So both of these are still showing. So this would be something that I would want to go and... I gotta figure that out a little more. Yeah, but I can extract the thing off of it, right? Even if I'm not wearing it. And extract the affix. Alright. Alright, now I'm actually dropping like way more things, so maybe that's bad. Keep it going there. What can you do with epoch points? Do that. Greetings. Farewell. Yeah, so now the filter's kind of fun. Um, normal and magic. I'm just gonna hide all normal and magic except, I guess, idols. Except for the oh, affixes I want. Two months, less than three. Who are you? Thank you, dang girl. No pay to win. Appreciate the 42 months. I cannot do that. This is offline, yeah. I mean, honestly, I should probably hide all rare items as well. If the rare doesn't have one of those affixes, then I, I don't really care. Do that. I wish to 
the second condition. The second condition is the one with all the affixes, right? I want that one. Within the hide rule. Uh. from this part. Just have it hide all normal magic and rare items. but if it doesn't have anything I want. I, right now I'm highlighting everything that has an affix that I want, so... I should probably get rid of the recoloring because now it's kind of annoying that I can't see rarities and stuff. True Endgame is setting up a good loot filter. I am not a man of many yeah. pockets. Okay, so everything here should be something that I want to break down. So here is where I take some gear and then I break it down. No, this is where I forge. Where do I break it down? I guess first, let's do this. 4% freeze rate multiplier. Okay, I mean, that does seem better. I need a shatter rune. Very nice. 
20% increased mana regen. I think I might take that. Increased cold damage is also nice. And some void resistance. Hmm. But 17 mana and mana regen I think is better for me. 35 health. Uh -huh. Increase spell crit chance. Okay. So here, guide. When item is shattered using a rune of shattering, is converted into shards. The amount of shards given is random, but this size one for Okay. So. I put here shattering. Hmm. Oh wait, I, gosh dang it, I bought it and sold it back. That's annoying. Shift right click is buy. Okay. So now I look for something that I want off of one of these things. Does it matter how good it is? Or like, is plus one intelligence good enough to shatter and go after? The higher the tier, the more shards. Okay, so I do want Twelve percent increased cast speed is nice. Where do I see the tier? Mm, control plus alt. Forty-one percent increased spell damage. So that one seems like one that I want. So now modifier. I do this, and it will shatter all of those. Oh, so it shatters for everything. If I an upgrade now, we can change the other to a different one that can spawn on that. Oh, wow, that's fun. Ah, uh, okay, so. Hmm. That's interesting. So I actually don't care about a lot of these then. Plus three spell damage shards, plus one damage over time shard. Okay. Shatter this. No. Um, okay, so yeah, these are worth a lot less then. I 
I mean, plus 27 health is probably worth a shatter, right? A T3 health gain. Should I increase the affix and then shatter it? No, not worth. Okay. Plus one health shard. Boo. Okay, so now if I look, I have a health shard. I got another one. Got it. Okay. Mm. So, honestly, it seems like I'm just going to sell a lot of the stuff. Now that I understand that, though, I'm going to need to go in... And adjust things even more. Does four affixes versus one affix matter? Like, let's say I have four affixes or I have one affix. Do I have a higher chance on the item with one oh. affix? Kind of like that. We'll save it. You know. No, it rolls each individually. So it's better to roll with more affixes. For early shattering, I'm saying. But maybe shards you don't want. Yeah, I'm just... Okay. Oh, okay, nice. We have another uh, thing opened up. Hmm, what's teleport got? Knockback on arrival is a fun one. Elemental affinity is also really nice. Um, yeah, I know what else it really is. Maybe focus. Increased mana region. Haste after channeling. More armor. Problem is, like, Meteor sounds great, but I don't have the mana to do Meteor. After you cast meter, you recover a portion of the mass bench over the next three seconds. Ooh. That sounds nice, actually. Focus is so slow to restore my mana, though. Maybe I just jam here. Uh, 
Um, where is cool down maybe? Maybe I just go here. Yeah, where's the reduce cooldown? I just want to uh, make it so I can teleport like a maniac. And then we can elemental nova. Bang, bang, bang. I feel like that's that's how I want to do it. Okay, let's go that way and here more damage against chilled let's do that That sounds good. Add plus mana to one of my items. Could be a thing we look at. Uh, we also have potential for more mana here. Though... Each second you're moving it to mid attack if you have a chance to guess. Oh. You can have multiple stacks of fire aura. Requires five points. Interesting. Your fire melee attacks have a chance to ignite your cold melee. Okay, so this is all melee, so I don't really care much for all that. Um, there's the momentum. Increased mana regen per 100 max mana. I like that. So I need here. All right, let's just start jamming mana. I cannot do that. Respect the points out of Spellblade for now. I mean, they're, they're fine there at the moment because they are just elemental damage. I cannot do that. Game actually feels pretty fun. It's not bad so far. It is 35. Oh wait, what's there? I cannot see that. I cannot do that. Log 
dragon server down yet. You just have to have streamer privilege and then you'll be okay. is really solid, yeah. Oh my god, grab him. I will need to redo my filters, it feels like. Though. Wait, can I just travel whenever I want? I don't have to travel from a waypoint? Interesting. Mm -hmm. I thought I made it more opaque than this. Seems like it got, yeah, it got way more. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go here. Let's. The tier of individual affixes must be more or equal than three. Total affix tiers of more equal Okay, maybe not Total affix tiers is more than equal than three. Oh, here's where I can say at least one of these affixes on the same item. All right, I want at least two of these affixes on the same, I same item. And the total needs to be at least four. Okay. Mm, maybe actually that's bad. At least one, but it needs to be at least four. That way, if it has one good affix at tier four, then it'll be better. And that'll work. Greetings. Farewell. Oh, my, it's working for you. Yeah, we just did offline. Does it auto pick up the items you want? It's not auto picking them up, but it's changing colors and eliminating and all that stuff. The filter is like, oh, no. gorgeous. It will show four T1s. That's okay. If the four T1 affixes are the ones that are all ones I want, then I'm okay seeing four T1s. Or if it's got one T4. I cannot do that. Both of those I'm okay with. And I believe that's what it's doing, right? You can't run from 
Mage's third eye of sparks. Let's take a look and see. So this has a T2 mana, a T1, and a T1, and that adds up to four. Perfect. Okay, so that is working. And this one as well. T1, T3, T2, and they're all ones that add up. Perfect. Okay, yep. Filter is exactly like we want it. I don't think you've ever seen me purchase anything other than T2 for five years. I've purchased many things other than T2 for five years. Nothing else. I'm, uh, we're gonna, you know, play some and get a, get a feel for it, and, uh... Do that? Yeah, figure it out from there. So, just, we're learning right now. <laughs> the knife. It helps. I cannot do that. I cannot do that. I wish I could teleport down there. Not Llama RPG. Llama RPG does not have this kind of funding, but should hopefully still have plenty of good fun. I cannot do that. No, I'm not gonna lie. I might be stealing some of that loot filter. Wasn't this kick-started? I mean, I think it had funding be beyond that anyways, even if it was, so... Nice to see the HP bar drop. Yeah, I'd say so far the difficulty is in a decent spot. I haven't died yet, but... My health bar has definitely dropped plenty, and I, I don't feel like, oh, it's just, you know, nothing. All right, how do I respect these points? Probably at a vendor, dude, huh? But I don't feel like I was, you know, like when I first played I through Diablo 3 or whatever, and I was like, yeesh, is there any difficulty? You know. I don't feel that. Brain dude in town for passives. Once you got around to 40, you started to die. Getcha, getcha, getcha. Difficulty spikes later. That's perfect. I mean, I like a game that starts out. Mm -hmm. It's got decent difficulty to start. And then it improves. Farewell. Hmm. 
No BS cooldowns. It's got some cooldowns. You know, teleport's got like four seconds there, and cold snap or whatever has some whatever, but it doesn't have long cooldowns so far. Orb's pretty baller, I'm not gonna lie. The bosses so far haven't been that hard though. They could definitely get a little bit more there. I cannot do that. How are the aura skills? Are they like D2? Uh, what aura skills? I haven't had any aura skills yet. Twenty-two. This game have difficulty levels, not that I know of. to travel between those areas. Kiwi. Definitely has Path of Exile inspiration. Almost definitely. How steep is the learning curve compared to Kiwi? I mean. It's more like older PoE before PoE got insanely complex, you know? Cannot do that. Bosses again are a little bit lame. Too easy. They could they could speed up a little bit. 
Maybe later on bosses get better. But early bosses, at least. They get faster and harder later? Okay. Like, they're, they're just not not any challenge. I'm not saying they gotta be everything, but eh, I wouldn't mind a little challenge from them, you know? Two. It relies on one shot mechanics for the difficulty later on. I hope not. That's one shot mechanics are kind of meh. I cannot do that. <sighs> So far, you like this more than PoE. Yeah. High praise. All right, let's go. You did on your own with no guides, and then you went and checked the guide afterwards and did 5x damage. Seems about right. Seems about right. I cannot do that. I cannot do that. This is fully offline that I'm playing right now. Is there a loot notifier? Or just the filter? I cannot do that. I don't sound too thrilled with this game. I'm just in the process of uh, going through it and learning it, honestly. I'm just not, uh, and never have been one of those people that tries to be over the top. Oh my god! Ah! You know, whatever. Just like, which in the world of content creation and stuff, it generally is a good idea to be like that. People, uh, you know, the bigger reactions stand out more. But that 
That's just not my style. <laughs> so, like I say, I'm just trying to uh, learn the game here. And go through and... I'm processing. That That's basically what's happening, is I'm just processing right now. Nice chance to chill, chance to cold resist. Solid. Okay, so now let's go take a look. This is offline. So now we should have items that are maybe worth it. Increased spell damage, increased health regen, necrotic resist plus to mana. Physical resist plus to armor. Armor reduces the damage take from all hits, but not damage over time. More effective against physical damage. Nice. So this definitely seems better for stuff to break down. Or just stuff to wear, even. 25 mana. 52 armor, physical resist. I lose one to elemental Nova, though. Where's my armor at? 183 is 21%. 220 is 23%. We could try and shatter that out. Ooh, 18% increased mana regen. 7% physical resist. 24% increased health regen. Heck yes. And it's more armor. I lose a little mana. Interesting, Adion. Okay. So where is physical resist? Oh, physical resistance right here. Oh, and armor is damage taken from all hits. Got it. Eighteen percent increased mana regen. And this is increased physical damage, whatever there. Block effectiveness, 24%. But how do I see my chance to block? Oh, block chance, 2%. All right, forget that. Increase damage over time. Yeah. Cool. And... So, I should go to the council chambers instead. Armor is like D4 before resistance so is working. this yeah. is what the elders... Greetings. No, humanity itself... All right, respecialize... Okay. Increase mana and mana regen. And that'll get me really nice there. That's also nice. So these two are nice, and then the mana there is nice. Um, yes. Ten health on kill. That 
That's nice. Okay. Follow your feet. We have plus two here. Middle explosion gets more damage. Reverse order. buff that middle and unspent points okay just right click it gotcha a smile upon you farewell um where is that where do I buy those uh runes of shattering yes. ah here we go But there's no forge here. I have to go to the other town to forge. I don't need to forge to craft. Oh, okay. All right, let's try and break this out. Plus one intelligence, plus one armor. Rip. And break this out. Two spell damage, shards, one mana, and two poison. Nice! That was a good breakdown. Okay, so we just right click. Our server's down in general right now. Yeah. Finally on, there you are. Honestly, maybe I should have Elemental Nova go for more chance to crit than damage, or chance to freeze than damage. Might be a better way to do it. I cannot fools. Like Glacier be the damage and this be the freeze chance, you know? Oh, I got more uh, spots in my stuff now. Increased cold damage. Nice. Ionization kind of looks like D2. Yeah, it's not bad. I'm enjoying the item so far. So that's a six point bonus, which means I will need six points. I assume to use that. Six of the eight. 
Yeah, very much uh, looks like a Grim Dawn skill tree. I cannot do that. Cannot do that. Okay. How's the game I feel? Not do that. I mean, it's feeling fun so far. I cannot do that. I think it's got more Path of Exile than Diablo 2 feeling to it. So many years spent researching and theorizing what may lie within these walls. It doesn't really feel like Diablo 4 that much, to be honest. Much better, like, itemization and crafting and all of that. D4 had a better launch day server-wise, yes. I love the loot filter in this fantastic loot filter. I cannot do that. I cannot do Just that. fantastic. You know how people are trying to get their names read out by Megan Fox? This is true. If your character dies on hardcore in Lama RPG, Moo Girl will read your name out. So that's worth even more than Megan Fox. I cannot do that. I cannot do that. Fools. Fools. Thank you, Viking. Oh, Kano with the raid. I didn't even see the raid. I just heard him say this was fun. Kano. He's still here. I'll message him later.
It's hard for me to decide if there's too much loot in this game or not. I cannot. Half of me says yes, this game has too much loot. The other half says once you really break down everything with your loot filter, eh, it doesn't have too much loot. I don't know how I feel about that. Ooh, you don't have ascendance. Changes the item into a unique or set item of the same type. Wow. That's fantastic. I cannot do that. It's random, you can get any unique item. Even crazy like rare and high end ones. It? What should I use it on? I need to find a white item to use it on, I guess, right? Turn off my filters really fast. Or should I use it on a wand? Maybe a wand would be good. Yeah. How do I... Okay, enable or disable. Um... There we go. Alright, we'll look for a one. Or mage body armor. Would adept robes be good or is there a better better base you think? Base doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Oh, that's all right. Item type. All right, so I should just do it. We'll just take a chance on uh, some robes. For science. Gross. So that rolled out of a mage armor. It's just armor when it rolls. Got it. So maybe a wand would have been better. Because type equal equals wand would have less chances of rolling into other garbage. Yeah, or catalyst. Well, I have a unique catalyst already, so. Okay. So in the future, use that on a wand. Yeah, at least it would be a wand. It could have be a necro wand, but It'd at least be some sort of wand. 
Yeah, 1.0 is out today. are so good now compared to pre-release. Yeah. And they look decent in pre-release. I don't think the graphics are anything that blow me away on this, but graphics are like definitely one of the less important things when it comes to a good game. I cannot do that. It's very D3-ish. Ah, looks better than D3-ish. D3's graphics were... Ugh, I did not like those at all. I cannot do that. A lot of people in chat care about graphics. I mean, I know that's true. A lot of people care about graphics. You know how I know that? Because all of these trash games keep selling tons of copies because they have decent graphics. Not this one, I'm just saying in general. Wait, what did that just do? I didn't do anything, I just came here and clicked that. I guess, okay. Guess we just go to the other one. That's tiny seller with one switch and another time zone is uh I cannot do that. Rough. <laughs> It also doesn't tell me when I have, um, like, new skills to, to put in. That I can see. It, like, sometimes it has it there, but a lot of times it misses. It just doesn't show that. Uh, where was I going on this tree? Up to here? Minus per point. Okay. And you. And you. The skills pop up is under where your camera is. If you go into it, the notification goes away, even if you don't put the points in. Ah, uh, I guess uh, it should remain. I think it should remain up until you've spent the points, personally. Wow! Payback! There we go. It, it gave it back to us. 1% increased mana regen per 3% uncapped light resist. Ooh, daddy likes that. 
On top of 125 armor, 40 to mana. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I have 23 light res. So we need to really uh, stack our light resist on stuff, I suppose. Time to do some crafting, huh? Seven percent increase. Elemental void res now. Attunement. What is attunement? Each point of attunement grants two mana and improves skills that rely on the innate magic inside you and your surroundings. What is the second part of that? Um, 54% increased crit strike chance. 61% crit strike multiplier, wow. 51% freeze rate multiplier. 18% increased mana regen, 17 health, but I would lose 27% increased cold damage, which does hurt. Okay, let me see. Where's my damage? Where do I see, like, my actual damage of my skills? 1776, 370, 395, 1851. I guess because of the implicit with the FCR, yeah. 19% increased spell damage. It's a little difficult to calculate some of the things. We could honestly probably get into meteor if we wanted, because as it compared to V2, I got a lot of uh, a lot of play time to still go through before I can play that much. I cannot do that. Hours to catch up, huh? 
You don't need 10,000 hours for a fair comparison, but give me at least, you know, 15, 20 hours in it to uh, feel a little bit. Finishing the campaign, exactly. I don't feel like the camera's too close up. The the biggest place the camera's too close up at yeah, too close up is the top. I wish I had a little bit more vision up here. Side to side, it actually isn't terrible. But yeah, if I could zoom out one more notch, I'd be happy. I agree with that. Just the up and down is not quite. Map is really nice. Seven. I cannot do that. One more point until we hit that guy. I cannot do Potentially Drusilla. Or can you listen to Llama Rap? Exclamation mark. Rap. Fun to see how Alex chooses the same skill nodes. Looks like I'm not that original after all. <laughs> Sorry. Itemization's pretty interesting so far, which I am enjoying.
Was that a boss? I think so. It seemed very boss-like. I believe the seek out the outcast queen, leader of the living rebels, and show her the evil. A little more difficult to be nice, yeah. You think I'll do a video review of the game? Uh huh. Yeah, I think so. Lines list getting I fixed. Do that. Mm -hmm. Maybe. I'm yes. guessing we just advance to the next act. Yes. Yes. Good job, us. Uh, I guess. Hold on. Is there anything we want? Uh, increased cold damage, minion health. And the cold damage is nice. Let's see if we can shatter it. Two cold damage shards, nice. Um, no. Plus lightning resist is nice for us. It's a lot of armor. We lose some life. I'm going to make the trade off. Uh, elemental, no. Attunement, no. Health. Chance to chill on hit. But not enough. Increase fire damage. Here for a crit strike multiplier. Couple resistances, increased stun chance, increased cast speed. Crit strike multiplier, freeze rate multiplier. Let's shatter it. Crit strike multiplier and crit strike chance. And that's whatever. Okay, let's go sell the rest. Yes. I got nothing to do with that, really. Always buy shattering runes at shops. Can't you always just go get them later? Yes. Be well. You can only buy a few every so often. Oh, interesting. I cannot do that. Was this supposed to be where it taught me about crafting? Clear. Okay, so now let's pretend I want to craft onto this ring. Let's look. I would be able to add any suffix, right? Because it already has two prefixes. Perfect. Thanks, Black Gaver. So I could just craft some, like, health onto it, I guess.
Okay. And now we go there. Now, what is the tier that it's going to generally craft on? Just T1? Well, that's annoying. Oh, but then the next shard I can make it T2. Okay. So now if I want to do upgrade affix. I do have a glyph of hope. So that gives that 25% chance to have no cost. And then I would do this. Nice. And now it's T2. So it only takes five affixes to make it a T5. That's pretty nice. I guess it just requires the forging potential. It's bound by my level, though. Which part is bound by my level? Okay. T3, that costs 8 forging potential. The best tier is tier 7, but you can only craft a T5. Oh, well, that kind of sucks. So this says cost 1 to 18 forging potential for the next piece. But I only have 9 forging potential remaining. So what happens if it... If I craft and it hits like 13, if it needs 13... It will work and just use it all? Okay, so if you get it to one, then you're good. Interesting. I don't actually want to craft that up that much. It's not like that good of a ring, actually. I just was curious about the system. Um... What is pretty Should good? Should we give Black Gaver another channel? L -l 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 he and Roy just need friends like you, you, you to help them say GG. No. Say GG. Say GG. How they really and feel? And none of my gears that good. Forty-four percent crit chance. Wait, on what? Oh, this ring. Yeah. So here I could go and upgrade. And let's say I wanted to trade out this modifier. How do I remove one? Or is that not possible? It removes a random affix. Glyph of Chaos will randomly switch one specific one. Okay. Modifies the outcome of an upgrade. Yeah, randomly changes the upgrade affix to a different one that can spawn on that item. It can... Got it. Huh. And it gives plus one to it, yeah. Alright, um...
Yay! Critical, critical success! Okay, that's very cool. What do you want? It really it does have a slight uh, similarity to Lama RPG crafting. Lama RPG crafting items have what's called influence, which is the same exact idea. There's there it's their forging potential, but you don't randomly spend it. You use that on upgrades and crafting. And etc. But the random nature piece is kind of fun, I won't, I won't lie. I cannot do that. I'm enjoying it so far. Plan A to be figured out here. Not do that. Tier six and seven are great because items are findable on the ground, not just crafted. So when you say tier six and tier seven, let me try and understand better. Because you said I can't craft it. Can I find, like, a blue item with a tier 6 I affix? Is that how it goes? Or is the idea you find an item on the ground... I cannot. ...and it has a T6 or T7 affix, but otherwise it's a normal item? And then I just craft the other affixes on it. It's like a normal rare, but it's got a T6 or T7. Okay. Best items are fusing T7s with uniques. Wait, what? Now there's item fusion? All right, you're starting to lose me here. to lose me. Okay, so let's say I shatter... Okay, I can shatter an exalt, but I just get... And then I can't... Yeah, okay. So I can't ever craft it up. You take a purple item and you squish it into a unique. So I'm adding the unique... Or the purple T6, T7 affix onto a unique essentially right that. that's the general idea of it Bryce. 
Prairie Neeks have lower squish potential. Understand when we get there? Okay. Is it fun? I'm, I mean, I'm enjoying so far just learning and playing through. It's definitely got like pros and cons that we're identifying and exploring more. What's the referral code thing? I don't know. I'm kind of curious uh, as well here. Let's just ban him really fast. Can you do referral code Mr. Llama SC? Does that work? Did I set up a referral program? I don't know. Veronicon? I did not. It's a repetitive but okay end game. Eh, we'll see. We will see. get increased mana regen by another bit. I cannot do that. Let's do some damage. Archers, man. I cannot do that. Lama RPG will look like this. I don't know if I want Lama RPG to look exactly like this. Not that it's bad by any means. Archers are busted and... Archers are busted just all the time. Just archers, man. Ooh. 
Too new school, exactly. My refugee is supposed to look more old school. Nice. Unique belt. Let's see it. One to physical skills. Blech. Is there a breakdown of uh, unique items, or do I just sell them? I cannot do that. Save for alts. reminds you of Diablo 3. I mean, it feels better than Diablo 3 felt. But, we have plenty of time to get through a lot of the pieces. Get away from me. Cannot do that. Refill. Mm, okay, let's go back here. I cannot do that. Can't beat the get out of town boss? That's a tough one. I cannot. Do That's that. a tough boss for sure. Hmm, I wonder if this way or the other way. I cannot do that. Same idea, you need good base damage on weapon or your build sucks. I mean, I haven't upgraded or changed my wand out in forever. Dude, archers are straight up. Like, unless you're saying just melee, but it's not spells damage affected by it, which is much better. Do I like it? I'm enjoying it so far. Plenty to be uh, discovered and figured out. All your spells scale from your one spell damage. All your spells scale from your... Which part of it? Plus five spell damage? You're saying? Seems to be doing fine for plus five. Oh. 
Yeah, it's like crazy forced in Diablo 3. I feel I like. Cannot do that. So, I don't feel nearly as forced here. Look for okay, let me do this. Add a rule. Item type wand. I cannot do that. Oh my god. So it's hard to get left alone in this game I sometimes. Do that. Oh, leave me alone. I cannot do that. Jeez. Add rule, add condition, item type is wand. Um, that's spell lightning damage. This is min level 20. Okay, so let's look for these. Yeah. And these will recolor as green. Okay, and so these will show regardless of their affix type or whatever. Jaw is bear is cute. Very cute. Fools. Fools. Increased cold damage. We're probably just on that one now. Spell damage per point, but cold damage is it's nice. You just play all of them, huh? I cannot do that. I cannot do that. I cannot do that. I cannot do that. 
Place are so good. Fools. I cannot. I cannot do that. I cannot do that. I cannot do that. Yeah, the map reveals me. I cannot do that. Uh, our map static? Potentially. Alright, we got a green here. So that means we have a new one. Eight spell void damage. Oh. I don't actually want void damage. I cannot do that. Gotta update the filter. I see different layouts for Lamas. I cannot do that. I cannot do that. I cannot do that. I cannot do that. I even D4 looks like D3. I think a lot of people forget what D3 looks like. I think they say it looks like D3 because it has, uh, you know, kind of that same 3D-ish style and, you know, that way, but... Don't stand there. Just asking to die. I cannot do that. I cannot do that. Yeah, that being said, I'm not... I don't feel like the graphics and look is the appeal of the game. Game looks good. That's great. I think it looks totally fine. I'm not like upset with how it looks here. Not blowing me away with the look, but again, I'm more of a gameplay guy, anyways, unless it looks just like really atrocious. 
Like, D3 just did not look good at all. The coloring and stuff to me was really rough. I cannot do that. Welcome, traveler. May you tear a smile upon you. Not do that. Fools. You don't mind the D3 colors? I can't do the D3 colors. That that's the where it gets like too far for me. It doesn't help that I don't enjoy the game really much either, but Welcome, traveler. May you tear a smile upon you. Okay, so this is 15 spell damage. So this should theoretically increase my damage a lot. It's a pretty good boost. Pretty good boost. I cannot do that. We're playing offline. Online was bored for hours, and I don't know if it's good now and or how long it'll be good for. The ice spike thing, yeah, that's glacier. It's uh, it's pretty solid. <laughs> Server still struggling. Yeah, I thought that might be the case. from it honestly I get some d3 I get more I get path of exile the most but it hasn't I sped up as fast as path of exile speeds up so again kind of reminds me of like older path of exile I don't know why people are trying to play online right now. Just, just wait. Definitely some Grim Dawn feeling as well. I cannot do that. Yeah. Okay, 
Okay, so that is the ruined. Now I'm in here. Wait, no, now I'm at Imperial Era. The, the map and the travel, I feel like I remember that being a little confusing before as well, and I still feel a little bit confused. Yes. Stay safe. Yes. Two intelligence tier two, interesting. Uh, we can break that down. Plus one to ice barrage. Break it down. Sell it. Sell it. Put that in there. Sell it. Lightless Arbor Key opens the door to Lightless Arbor Dungeon beneath the Shrouded Ridge. Okay. I'm actually going to break that down because I want lightning resist right now. Increase mana regen. Tier 3. Let's try and break it down. And cast speed we could try and break down. over here for now. Gen. Nice. And not bad. Okay. Not bad breakdowns there. Okay, let's uh, pause there. We'll do a quick bounty here. It is Men's Warehouse today. Love me some Men's Warehouse. Very fun one. With prom season just around the corner, it's time to find your look. Men's Warehouse has got it all. Hottest times of the season. Let's find something nice for uh, Mr. Llama here. Mm. Oh, this is how, how to get your measurements. That's nice. Clothing. Suits. Never went to prom? I went to, to one prom, I think. 
I guess that was just the senior. Do you think green's my color? I don't think so. What about cream? Could I pull off the cream look? Just go black. What about this? This is like, this is like almost black. Navy solid. There's black. I mean, black is classy. Ooh, the gray is nice. Oh, right now you can get a suitor tux rental starting at 159. You can buy your look at 279. And you get a free t-shirt and tie. That's not bad. You're too skinny to fit in these fancy clothes? Yeah, you are. Ooh, what about the baby blue? I feel like that does take a certain... Uh, that's too bold for me. I'm not, I'm not that bold. I wish I was that bold. What is nice? The last time I went to a men's warehouse was probably about five years ago. I went and what was nice is they they had like a dude who just kind of consulted with me and helped me figure it all out because I didn't know enough. And so he helped me get some pants and it was very simple. I did appreciate that. Uh, I mean, this is way too, these, I could never pull those off in my life. You could do the baby blue. I can't do the baby blue. I like the, the dark blue. This is, I'm really liking this right here. Ooh, here's prom package. This is the jacket, pant, dress shirt, tie. Okay. So it's got those like this right here. That's also kind of nice. That's also nice. I don't know what size I am actually. I would need to go get measured. Hmm, the light under or the dark? Not that, kind of like this. It's a nice shirt. Do they have that, Carlos? Interesting. That's very nice. I, the tie is not for me, though. I need a different tie. Ah, so many, so many things to pick. Where's, ooh, vest. Vest are always fun. Maybe like that's the look. Cause this lets me get down on the dance floor enough. You know, break it down. It's not bad. Interesting stuff. Uh, all right, you guys. Do they have a fire suit pattern? I hope so. I hope they do. I am going to be off for now. I may come back later and play some magic or something with Moo Girl. Um, so that that may be a thing. Uh, but I also kind of want to continue this character at some point here. So maybe we'll, we have ladder reset tomorrow at seven o'clock U.S. Central. Um, so I'll be streaming then. I don't know if I'll stream any other time tomorrow. But then Friday, maybe I'll come back and stream more Last Epoch here. And we'll uh, keep pumping this character up. Because I feel like... I feel like I want to learn more about it. You know, to build a better understanding. So far, I would definitely say the game is decent and interesting enough. I, I have not hated the first, you know, four and a half hours or whatever that we played it. Um, so, you know, so I think that's been good. Like, that has been, uh, decent. But, 
we'll have to just see more. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace, everybody. I don't know why that was so laggy. Have a great rest of your day. I will see you tomorrow or later tonight, potentially. Exclamation mark Discord to uh, get notifications. Or just follow, subscribe to the channel if you want notifications as well, right? Make it easy. All right. Bye, guys. Myth of Empire. Many moons have passed since I left the town of Tristram behind me. Since then I've tried to forget the terrors I beheld beneath the cold earth and the twisted nightmares that have haunted my every waking moment. There's something dark within me now. I can feel it. Ice blast of the past, a bitter killer's mastery class, an orb of ice, a centrifuge recast at the fast, a frozen mass. They shatter into glasses of ash, a chill and blizzard wizards cast, and now I'm gone in a flash. And we don't stop, a Nova Croc, a weapon swap, a unique drop, we're tearing through this chaos, listen to our master rap to fight the last who pop the moment stopped, he's finally free. Not even death can save me from me. Holy bolt, holy shield, holy freeze. I might smite the Lord of Terror unto his knees. I'll set free the beast within just to watch him bleed. Pure concentration, no salvation, just to restore peace and bring order to the world. The desecration from my sword, he start a war. I'll massacre the core foundation of the law. This ain't no soul in search of answers, just a hero with a T. And by the time I finish slaying, there won't be Diablo 3. Lord of Destruction, Lord of Corruption, Lord of the Hate and Pain. I instigate a force so great, eviscerate the syndicate. I decimate, eradicate my foes and turretonic state. They suffocate, choke on my name. Lord of Seduction, Lord of Disruption. Lord of the lies, plow hides inside. He's terrified, mass genocide. My master rhymes identify the stale while they listen as I amplify. Strict specify it's time to die. Bring it back to the master of the track. Travel east to find the beast so I can slay him with my rap. Don't need flails or a sword. Tie my hands behind my back. Like a shop up, I'ma kill him with my lyrical attack. Time to let out my battle cry. I don't find the time to grind a level nine to nine. Support the party, risen wizard, and that summon god. I stand to take the flank of dolls, but when I try to fight, Of reality.